Hi everyone, I am going to crack open the Jane Davenport Magic Wand colored pencils, but I want to compare them to some other colored pencils first. So I have, I'm going to pick pink here. I have pink, and this is my Castle Art Supply colored pencils. These were from Amazon. They were a cheap $7 pencil. And these were Studio Series colored pencils. And those were also like a cheaper type of colored pencils. And then I'll get a Faber Pastel. Let's see. And this is a Faber Castell Polychromos colored pencil. And that is an expensive colored pencil. And then I also have, oh, where did I put it? Oh, here we are. This is the Studio 71. This is the Dars colored pencils. And these were $5. So these definitely are cheaper colored pencils. And I will pick this pink. I'm trying to, you know, pick all similar pinks, but... You know, it's not, it's not going to happen. They're not going to be all the same. So we'll open these. Oh, the plastic on them too. They're wrapped good. Let's see, where's my scissors? Here, I'll just use these. There's a nasty sharp edge right here. I mean, that's sharp. Okay, so I'll open these up. And these are a pack of uh, 24. So I'll pick this pink. And we'll close that up. And these stamp sets are from My Sentiments Exactly. And um, they're uh, love candies. It just happened to be what I had in my... Actually, I'm not going to use this one for the Jane Davenport. I'm going to use this one. It's, it's a little bit closer. So these are love candies by My Sentiments Exactly. And it just happens to be what I had in my stamping tool. <laughs> So first I'm going to use, this is the Castle Art Supply. I'll just pick this Kiss Heart up here. And I'm just going to color it in. These, I really like these pencils. I said that before when I, I did do a review on these. I'll link that all down below in case uh, you all want to watch that again. I'm only going to color half. I don't have to color it all. And this is the Studio Series. I'll do the love one here. And these were also pretty good. I like these ones also. Okay, and this is um, the Polychromos. Yep, yeah, this is the Faber. Well, here, let me do... Oh, no, see, uh oh, oh, there we go. The Jane Davenport ones are marked. This was the Studio 71 Dars one. I'll do that one right here. And these are, you know, a more scratchier type of colored pencil. You can even hear the difference. And with these, I have to push pretty hard to get the color. And now here's the polychromos. I'll do that. I'll do that on the little one because I already know how this one's gonna lay. This one I'm I'm barely pushing, and I get a nice vibrant color, nice thick color. Okay, and now this is the Jane Davenport one, and we'll do the only you. Now these are. Uh, it's laying down nice and smooth. I can feel it. You can feel the difference when you color. The and it's it's nice and a nice thick layer here. I'm not pushing that hard. Okay. 
Okay. And this one was, oh, I should have wrote, this was the castle. This was the Jane. And this one was the studio. And this one was the, the Darce. And this one was the Polly, the Flower Castell. But there's the castle. Oh, I forgot the L. <laughs> That's the studio. That's the Darce. There's the Jane. And there's the Polly uh, Chromo, the Faber Castell. Now I'm going with the Jane. I'm going to, let me see if I can blend another color in there. See, I'll pick a, I'll pick a purple. This is with the Jane Davenport purple. And first I'm just gonna go on the edge here. See how well it blends. And please remember, by no means am I an expert. I am just a crafter. And I was just curious about these colored pencils, but I didn't want to pay full price. So I waited until there was a 60% off coupon, and that was today. Today they had a 60% off coupon. And let me go back in and kind of blend it in a little bit. Make sure I'm using the right one. <laughs> I'm really surprised. These are actually doing quite well. Look at that. And let me see. Is there a purple, purple, purple? I didn't plan very well for this. That's okay. Okay, this is the Castle Art Supply one. And you'll see me turning my pencil a lot with these cheaper ones. Because they tend to like, um, when you're coloring with them, I think the friction warms them up a little bit. And then they uh, start losing their color. So I've learned to turn it around. There's blending with that one. And let's see the studio. Let's see, we need a purple. I don't know if I have a purpley one. I might have just like a dark purple. Yeah. So here's a studio. This one's gonna be a darker purple. But you guys can get the general idea. I know some of you don't blend and that's perfectly fine but for those that do blend I wanted to show the difference and then this was the Darce ones oh gosh where did I put those oh right in front of me <laughs> see purple
Now just remember these Darce ones, these Studio 71 Darce ones. These are more for like uh, little kids, I'd, I'd say. Because they're pigment, you know, it's not, I mean it's decent, but see you can see all the white space left. So those are harder to blend. And then the polychromos, let's see. I'll use this purple. I just picked the little heart because I already know how, how these are gonna work. Cause these are what I use 99% of the time. And that's because I like how they blend with these. I like to blend and I just wanted to point out, I lost my train of thought there. I just wanted to point out that I am using, uh, this is Recollections paper. And that is what I like to use my colored pencils on is the Recollections paper. And just so everybody knows, your paper does make, or your cardstock does make a world of difference. You know, it's, it's, um, it, it really does. If you use smooth, you're not going to get as good a results from any colored pencil, I don't think. I'm going to, these are the Janes again. I'm going to use greens here. And I just want to color this heart just to see. Like I said, they're, they're going on nice and smooth. So far, I like these. And I, I'm pretty honest when it comes to my reviews. I'll tell you if I like something or I don't like something. Like when my daughter <laughs> wants to uh, color with colored pencils, I give her those Darce ones, <laughs> those Studio 71. And I got those... Um, just on a whim because they were only five dollars so that's why I picked them up but now these Jane Davenport's with a 60% off coupon only came up to like a ten dollars and like 70 cents so because it was funny we went to Michael's and I told my husband I wanted the colored pencils and his eyes bugged out <laughs> I thought <laughs> I think he was thinking about the the polychromos because <laughs> those are like two hundred dollars for the big set. But yeah, there's the green. And mind you, I'm doing this fast. I'm not doing this very quick. And here's some. Uh, craft card stock. Let me use two other. Here, I'll use yellows. There's a yellow. Ooh, look at that, folks. Ooh, pretty, 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 pretty. And let's. This video, I have a feeling going to be kind of long. How pretty is that? I didn't blend it very good. I'm not taking my time anymore. Oh, there's, there's some flesh colors in here. Let me see. <clears throat> I'm just going to put it on the dark side. This is the Jane Davenport ones. I'm just going to use them on the on this heart, just to see this is a flesh color. Just to see, and let's do flesh on this half of this heart. We're always told to color in circles. I don't think it really matters for this demonstration. And then there's a more pinky, peachy. I'm 
Jane, what's the castle? It's the Studio 71 Polychromos, and this one is the Darce. And here's the Janes on this craft card stock. Well, these are definitely worth the $10. I do not think I would have paid full price, only because it's a 24 set, maybe if it would have had more in it. Well, that's my card. But uh, these only had 24 and only of these colors. But um, if I ever get a 60% off coupon, I think I'll buy another tin. Because I, you can't buy these individually, but I, I really do like these. I mean, I will use them. Um, but again, you know, I still really like my polychromos, but these, these did really, really well. I'm really surprised. Look how nice they blended though. Super good. Well, anyway, that is my review of the Jane Davenport Magic Wand Colored Pencils. And thanks for watching. Bye.